Who will take care of the animals everyone else gives up on? Who will take care of the desperate, the abandoned, and the abused? Maggie's Miracle Fund Ten years ago, a promise was made to help the helpless. Little Munchie was sealed in a tiny box and hidden away somewhere they thought no one would find her. We can't know how long she was in there. When she was found, she weighed two pounds. She should have weighed nine. Euthanasia was recommended, but we didn't agree. Can you believe this is the same cat? A beautiful Siamese cat was abandoned. Her new home became a juniper bush on the corner of a busy street. The homeowner fed her, but Ming was too scared to be touched by people. Then she was attacked by another animal and badly wounded. The pictures before her surgery are too graphic to share. But as she recovered, she blossomed into the sweet and loving cat she is today. Rufus lost his owner to a tragic car accident. She'd made provisions for a rescue to take him in if anything ever happened to her, but they refused, due to his age and treatable health issues. Alone and scared, he almost gave up. But with our help, Rufus found love again. Teddy's story is an all-too-familiar one. He was the neighborhood tomcat, feral, tested positive for feline leukemia, that would have been a death sentence anywhere else. But we gave him a chance. He cleared the virus and slowly learned to trust. In the end, Teddy lived to be a happy 16 years old. Kayla was also feral and couldn't be touched. She was on death's door when she was finally caught. She had FIV, a horrible mouth infection, a dire upper respiratory infection, and extreme flea infestation that resulted in severe anemia. We called her a Kool-Aid kitty because her blood was so thin. If that wasn't enough, we also discovered she had been born with a hole in her heart that should have killed her as a kitten. But she beat it all, learned to trust, and lived out a happy life as a beloved indoor cat. Sophie was another Kool-Aid kitty. Small kittens like Sophie are easily killed by flea-caused anemia. She was a very crabby kitten who survived and thrived. Sophie is still quirky, but healthy and happy, and loving life. Angel is a gorgeous, extremely well-trained thoroughbred horse. Unbelievably, we found her in a pen of horses destined for slaughter. Why? Well, she was getting older and losing her sight, and that made her no longer useful. Unless, of course, you consider the writers she can still happily carry, and the kids she adores and who adore her. Chance arrived in the bottom of a brown paper grocery bag. He was starved, hypothermic, and dehydrated. He couldn't even lift his head. He was named Chance because we gave him one. His full name was Fat Chance, because he had such low odds of surviving. But survive he did, and loves life with his best buddy, Danny. Joey experienced head trauma that left him deaf and with severe balance issues. He'd been a feral colony cat who had survived through his mistrust of people. Now, if he was going to survive, he had to learn to trust. He started out worried then became curious and, in time, confident. His hearing never returned, but his balance and enthusiasm for life did. Although some of the other pictures are more intense, Phoebe's story is one of the most dramatic. She was a tiny kitten who couldn't breathe due to an infection in her chest. Her chances were slim, but we rolled the dice and decided to treat. She actually died while on the table, but the vets brought her back, and we couldn't give up on her. We had to let her try. Phoebe made it. Once she was fully recovered, she was put up for adoption. But as you can see, Maggie had other ideas. Maggie is a gorgeous calico cat who showed up as a young feral mom with four tiny kittens. At one point, she became deathly ill. 
We couldn't touch her. But we made her a promise. We'll help if you'll try. Maggie did. For the past ten years, we've kept that promise. With your help, we'll continue to keep it. 